Over these past years, we've come up with all sorts of ideas on how the world of Equestria differs from our own, from its history, its society, its ideals, its education, and so on. Though a couple of elements have come up far more often than others simply because there are so many ways you can look at them. How a pony's cutie mark and their inner magic define their destiny. Ever since Magical Mystery Cure, these sort of questions have become a bit more confusing. After all, how does changing a pony's cutie mark suddenly give them an entirely different life without them even realizing there was any change to begin with? And with characters like Troubleshoes going through years of not knowing his purpose in life long after receiving his cutie mark, and even Diamond Tiara berating the CMC for not understanding their destinies while secretly wishing she could better understand her own, there are even more questions about how a cutie mark affects a pony's life. But today, I'd like to talk about something rather intriguing that just might help shed a bit more light on these elusive subjects. More specifically, I'd like to focus on Discord's first appearance in the Season 2 opener. Not only was Discord a highly entertaining villain right from the get-go, but he also presented a very real threat to the whole of Equestria and all who lived there, especially when he was able to corrupt each of the main six in turn, causing them to lose their bright colors, becoming dull and gray. Then again, maybe that isn't what really happened. I have no doubt that Discord was corrupting these ponies through both his magic and his influence, but this isn't the first time one of the main six started to lose her colors. If we think back to Party of One, Pinkie Pie was already on her way to becoming dull and gray. No spirit of chaos here, just a pony giving in to despair. No longer wanting to spread joy to her friends, but surrounding herself with inanimate objects in an attempt to lift her own spirits. In other words, going against her destiny. Looking back to the Season 2 opener, we see each of the ponies in turn going against their cutie marks in some way. Discord was certainly the one who introduced that thought into their minds, making them forget who they really were. But I'd like to propose the idea that it wasn't Discord who was changing their colors. Rather, the pony's inner magic that was no longer working. This was especially the case with Twilight, because, after all, Discord hadn't been using any kind of hypnosis or magic on her, not even that instant change he used on Fluttershy. Instead, Twilight had to make a conscious choice to go against her destiny, against her cutie mark. Now, some of you hearing that statement might think that her cutie mark came from her mastery of magic, but I'd like to point out something rather profound here. Aptitude does not imply destiny. Plus the fact that in my opinion, it was the sonic rain boom connecting all the main six's destinies together that gave Twilight her cutie mark, and put her on the path we've watched since the very first episode. So why wouldn't Twilight have lost any of her color before meeting the main six then? If I'm suggesting that a pony loses their color when going against their destiny, which certainly happened during the season two opener, why wouldn't it have happened to Twilight at any time before then? I mean, even when she was first making her way over to Ponyville, she had zero interest in making friends. It's simple, really. During the first episodes of MLP, Twilight didn't yet understand her destiny, didn't yet understand her true purposes in life, just like Trouble Shoes and Diamond Tiara in Season 5. But during Season 2, she most certainly did. Thus, I believe it was in fact Twilight's inner magic rather than Discord who was changing her colors. And if we look at the Season 5 opener, we see each of the main six's colors starting to dull yet again. But this time, it wasn't a conscious choice on any of their parts. Starlight Glimmer's magic was, in fact, blocking the talents and perhaps even destinies of the main six. This is especially obvious with Pinkie Pie, as the equal sign cutie mark would start glowing every time she tried to bring back her joyful nature. And you know, the more I look into Starlight Glimmer's actions, the more intriguing her character becomes in the series. So, what does all this mean about a pony's inner magic? Could these moments where the main six are working against their destinies through a conscious choice, or the magic of others, really be what's draining all the literal color out of their lives? And what could this teach us about cutie marks in general? 
I would like to hear your thoughts on these theories, and here's hoping we get a few more clues about what determines a pony's destiny in future episodes of MLP. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.